The world that surrounds them looks withered and half dead. Leaving your own has been there. Hi, everyone. Um, I went somewhere today and I had to sit in the office and there was a TV on and they had the Ferguson thing happen happening on air and I saw people talking about it and so forth and I listened and people seemed to be angry. But, you know, I was thinking in my head, what kind of solutions is there? I mean, if you go out bullets are blazing against um, the police, which are funded by the corporation, which I'll actually leave, leave who funds Homeland Security and who all we fund below this. But I was thinking there has to be an idea and, and can I, we possibly use this system we're in against those people who run it? And I thought maybe we could if, if other people would participate. Now, whether you like me or not, uh, hate me or not, please hear me out on this and see if this is something you could possibly do because right now the police are militarized and that was part of the agenda. So please just hear me out and make a phone call. We could do this. We could start doing citizen tribunals. Um, I will leave in the description box what I think we could do. If you have ideas, leave them also. Do a video on it. Let's try to get this going. Call your representatives, whether you like them or not. Like I said, I don't even participate in the system. But by God, I'm willing to use it against them. And uh, don't take no for an answer. Peace, and I love everybody. Just hear me out when I make these phone calls, please. I have some questions, folks. Um, yeah, I have a few questions. Um, is she in the Homeland Security Subcommittee? Uh, no, I do not believe so. That's what's on her page. Oh, really? Okay. So you don't even know? Well, I just, I'm more familiar with her committee leadership than her subcommittee membership. Um, but, oh yeah, she is. I see what you're seeing. Okay, this is the reason I'm asking. Homeland security is security of the homeland, right? So, with, so, just to clarify, she's not on the Homeland Security Subcommittee that would be within the Armed Services Committee, but she's on the Appropriations Subcommittee that talks about appropriating funds to it, Homeland Security. Exactly, and, and, and I, I understand that. She's always in the funding part. So, and this would be funding to... Um, for our um, for the security of the homeland for North America, right? Yes. And, okay. Why are the police being militarized, and why are the police? I mean, you you see what's happening in Missouri and in other places. Well, the police in Washington State act just the same, and and you probably know that because the Department of Justice just finished something here with the way King County Police just shot randomly at people and none of them were even fired so can you tell me in where is this funding going to i mean uh we're not protecting the homeland per se but actually we're militarizing the police and making and making it a uh, more unsecure because no one feels safe uh, everybody's frightened of the police. When I was a kid, they were peace officers. They they wore regular tan or light green shirts and you know pants. Now they're dressed like something off of a Holly weird movie. And if they pull you over for speeding, you're considered guilty of everything. I mean, they want. I mean, they treat you like you are nothing, and we pay their salaries. Is there some way we can have this changed, or we need to set up citizen tribunals and just do something different? Because obviously, no one there in the Capitol Hill is doing their business. Yeah, I understand your concerns, ma'am. I don't have a specific statement about what's going on in Ferguson from Senator Missouri, but I'm happy to pass along your concerns. Sir. Well, well, how about here in Washington State? Uh, I've got concerns about the the police here. I actually think that citizen tribunals should be te uh, set up to test the police for steroids and other things. Um, I live in a local. I live near a local town that the police are so bad. They said, we don't want you, and they voted the police out, and that's McCleary, Washington. 
Um, and the police are bullies here. They're nothing but bullies. Now, when, when citizens, by a large margin, start voting police out, that should tell the people in Washington, D.C. something. People have had enough. I And the one bully here that is a police officer here will probably get a job someplace else. And my fear is he's going to kill some unarmed person who might have went one mile over the speed limit and the guy will lie because he's been caught in so many lies. I mean, this is what all, I mean, this is happening in every state. So the appropriations of giving these police militarized equipment when they're not even capable of running their own departments is insane. Uh, it, could somebody call me back on this? Yeah, I'm happy to, well, uh, I'm happy to take down your email information or your address for a letter from the senator. Absolutely not. I want a phone call. I'm tired of the same old regurgitated letters. I really, you know, I know you're the go between, between me and who's supposed to represent me. But I, it's about damn time that I talk to somebody because nobody in this area likes the way things are going. So I would like somebody to call me. Okay, I'm happy to take down your information. Um, our process is, you know, more streamlined for emails and addresses. So uh, I just don't know what the timeline would be to expect on that, but I'm happy to take down your uh, phone number. Well, I think it should be within the, the next week. I mean, they vacation all the time. They can take a little time off their vacation and and maybe call some of their constituents here in, in their own state. I mean, I would really seriously like some answers. Um, so here's my name. My name is Linda Seiler. Okay, have you got that? Yes. Okay, and... Um, I'm going to tell you my phone number real quick. Yes, that was my phone number, and um, this phone call is being recorded. I just wanted you to know that also. Please, um, I don't want a letter. I don't want them to email me back because I'm going to tell you what the emails does. All it does is picks out little words because we've tried this. Um, it has keywords, and if you punch in keywords, me and my neighbor, she can complain about something, and I can be happy about something. We've already tested this. We both get the same email back, so it's just a computerized system that nobody reads the emails. It's just keywords. They pick them out, and they send the same thing back. So uh, it's and no more letters either. It's time we start talking face-to-face -face with the representatives, or maybe... This American experiment isn't working, and we should break up into small states. And I've never really wanted that because I'm actually an American Indian. But at this point, the police have went way over. If she is in the appropriations for Homeland Security, and they're militarizing the police to harass the citizens who pay the salary of her and everybody in Capitol Hill and of those policemen, maybe we should just withhold funds, we as citizens. Would you not say that? I'm not trying to be mean to you, but wouldn't you say that would be fair? You know, ma'am, I really can't comment on that, but I'm uh, happy to pass along all of this to Senator Murray. Okay. D can, can uh, I, no, hey, hush up, Kenny. Now, I'm trying to be, I'm going to be nice now because I know I was a little hard on you. Now, if you were in a situation where the police were bullies and no one was there, you could call nobody to help you because who do you call when you need help? The police? What, what, who would you call to complain? You know, ma'am, I don't have a specific answer or specific comment to give to you, but uh, we do appreciate your call, and I'm uh, happy to pass along all of this to the senator. Okay, and I am expecting now, today is August 14th, 2014. I am expecting a phone call within two weeks. If not, I will know how she feels about her constituents. Thank you. not done gonna call some more because she is she pockets money she's uh she has all the lobbyists this lady does that's the reason i called her um and i don't like what's happening in missouri and i think citizen tribunals ought to be set up wouldn't be hard to do and i'm not talking about al sharpton jesse jackson or the latest white the most popular white guy Rand paul or any of those kind of people i'm talking about we the people 
find the most moral people. Each each of each background, you, you have African American, you have white American, you have American Indian, you have Asian. Uh, even if you want to get some religions in there and throw them in there, that'd be fine. But we need to do something, and, and I'm telling you, th this has gone way, way overboard. That little Ferguson thing, the way those police are acting, is just what I expected. And what I meant to ask this lady is, Homeland Security gave uh, most of this military, the, the, our, even our police are being trained, I believe, by Elbit Systems, too. I don't want to become the new Israel. We are the United States of Israel, and I will find out for sure. I'm going to call another senator and add it to this. Uh, hold on, guys. Well, look, I, I don't vote. We know this. Um, <clears throat> this is a congr congressman, um, Derek Kilmer. I suggest everybody start asking tough questions. Um, he's on the, uh, <clears throat> where is this? I'm on the uh, national security. Well, um, <clears throat> I think national right now would be national here and I'm going to um, all right, let's see where he stands on this uh, he is a member of the House and Armed Service Committee successfully fought for projects and priorities included in the NDAA National Defense Authorization Act shame on him he believes that sharing information technology knowledge between Department of Defense and private industry um, he just seems like he's right on board with the good old boys. Time for me to call him to, um, you see, the thing is, we the people can scare them and maybe even go a little farther and take our power back without a bullet being shot. If you learn how to speak to these people, first thing, lose your fear. Lose your fear of saying what's on your mind and demand they call you back. Here we go. <clears throat> Representative Kilmer's office. Hi, I, I understand that he's like on the, it says a lot about national security. Is that true? What's that, ma'am? Is uh, Ed, uh, Congressman Kilmer, does he say a lot about national security? Uh, he is on the Armed Services Committee, so that is a large part of what he does, yes. Okay. Well, um, national security also would involve our country, true? I mean, you know, making sure it's protected? Yes, ma'am, yeah. Okay. You're you're nice, so I'm going to be nice to you, all right? And not... Uh, okay. I called Senator uh, uh, Patty Murray's office, and they're not so nice. Um, Sorry to hear that. Okay. Um, well, it's not your problem, but you may not like the questions I'm about to ask. Um... First of all, you know what's happening in Missouri right now, right? With the uh, yeah, I've heard about it. Yes, ma'am. Okay, um, and what has happened is the police have been militarized, and the citizens are the enemies. And I'm I'm over fifty, and I've seen this come about through my years. Okay, um, police used to be peace officers, and now they are complete thugs. Now I'm I'm going to talk about Washington State for a minute. Sure, go ahead. Okay, we, we know what happened in King County and other counties with the police where the DOJ had to get involved because the police were so out of hand. Mm -hmm. Okay, right down the road for me, um, they just, now I wasn't in this little town, but right down the road for me, some of the thugs were just completely voted out. They don't want police in this area no more, and that's McCleary, Washington. I don't know if you heard about that. No, I don't think I had well, it's it's because they're thugs. Uh, they're, um, let me explain something to you. If I have someone come visit me and they drive through McClurry, uh, you better bet it doesn't matter if they're doing the speed limit or not. They're going to get pulled over by uh, someone. And it's always you're doing 45 and a 30. I don't care if they were doing 25 and a 30. That's extortion. Now, I myself say we ought to start, first of all, having citizen tribunals since we have to pay for their their salary. You, you understand that? Yes, ma'am, I do. And I also believe that we ought to have a say-so, and we have no say-sos here in Washington State about the police. All police that have been involved in shootings get paid vacations while they're being investigated, and, and even when the Indian man got shot for no reason whatsoever, and that was clearly 
found out about, the policeman wasn't fired, whereas you and I would have gotten murder charges. Um, so this is my, my question, and I would, and you can't answer this, so I, if you'd write this down for me, I'm sure, gonna, yeah. I'm gonna leave you my phone number. I would like sure. someone to call me back. No letters, no emails. Thank you, because uh, Patty Murray, obviously, they don't call constituents back. That's kind of against their policy. Um, <clears throat> this is my question. If since the police are becoming militarized and we have no say so, how would uh, Derek Kilmer feel about us setting up citizen tribunals so that we could overlook the police and maybe drug test them? I mean, it, and this is becoming extortion in a lot of cases, and they're mean. Um, so what, what do you think? Do you think I'm out of line by saying that since we pay their salary, I should have some say-so? And the only reason I'm saying this is a lot of people are afraid to call you guys because they know that you, they, we, you, know, you get put on a list. Everybody's heard about some list. Well, I, I've got children to worry about and my grandchildren, and I don't want them to grow up in a country like this is turning out to be. And, and you've got to admit there's problems in this country. Do you agree? Yeah, you do? And I can, no, I understand what you're saying for sure. And I'd be happy to pass those concerns on to Representative Kilmer, and we'll have someone get back to you for sure. Okay, let me leave my name and my phone yeah, sure, number. Please. And you're being taped just, to, this is, um, I do, I, I kind of uh, do, you've been great. You'll be great. I'm going to put you on YouTube, and you've been polite. <laughs> It'll be you versus Patty Murray's lady, who was horrible. Um, Sorry to hear it. <laughs> well, no, she didn't even know that Patty Murray was on the Homeland Security fiscal part of that. It's kind of ironic. She had to go look it up on her own computer, which baffled me to no end. Okay, here's my name. Sure. And I'm going to mute this for the camera. Yeah, sure. What's your name? 98557. 98557. Yeah. And it, and he does call back or somebody from there. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Um, I'm glad to hear that. And I'm going to run the spine because actually at this point, I think America is kind of fed up with the militarization of the police. You know, and then we have to pay for this. And and I don't know. It, it, say say the police were hassling you. Say say your sister, okay, and she wasn't doing anything wrong. Who is she supposed to call? Not the police, if they're hassling her, true? I, I understand that. I understand. It is a tough question. Yeah. So maybe maybe if we can start some kind of rapport, um, maybe he, because I think he's into solving problems, isn't he? Doesn't he like trying to work with the community? Okay. Well, maybe we can solve some problems here in Washington State. Okay. And, and hey, maybe it'll catch on and go to other states. I hope so, man. I hope so. Okay, and I thank you for Once again, me. I just want to confirm your so your Linda's father, S I L E R, and your nine eight five five seven. Yes, indeed. Correct. Great. Great. Um, okay. How long do you think it'll take before I hear from somebody? Mm, I'm not sure, but I assume there will be an answer back pretty quickly. I'd like to say. Well, thank you very much, and it was a pleasure talking to you. It was a pleasure talking to you too, man. All righty. <laughs> bye bye. Okay, now this dude actually does get back to you, and he does. I, I don't really care for him because, um, you know, they're all they all have lobbyists and stuff. But um, he would probably he'll he'll this this dude I just called will call you back. Uh, he's the only one I know that will. Um, so I was going to call Maria Cuntwell, but um, she really is. She's mainly into. Um, doing the internet stuff like uh oh here let me turn around and talk to you she's mainly man i look red don't i um the sun's trying to come out through the curtains she's mainly into um snooping on you through your computers and stuff so but i did i do think we need to contact those who say they represent us and every one of you can do this after watching the ferguson thing what's going on that's just completely insane um, didn't the police shoot a kid in cold blood? I don't even know how it started. I just see that what the people are doing and how the police are reacting. And and what I was talking about with what a Native American. Uh, I'll leave a video. What this the why the Department of Justice had to be involved here in 
King County, Washington. Um, a, car, a wood carver, he was deaf, uh, was crossing the street when, you know, the signal told him to cross his, the street. He had a little pocket knife, and he was carving on some wood, and a cop pulled up and shot him. When um, you, I'll just leave that video below so you can see it. And that wasn't the only incident. The, the Seattle police, you know, we all saw what um, was happening in New Mexico. Well, the Seattle police got worse than that. And they were supposed to calm down, but they haven't. Washington, all of Washington State Police were supposed to go through some kind of humanitarian training, but they haven't. And, uh, or if they have, they faked their way through it. So I, I'm going to, if, if they want money, we need to all make a phone call as much as we hate the system. I guess to participate in it, we're going to have to make changes by setting an example and saying we demand certain things. Now I'm going to ask each of you call your representative, representative and request that. Citizen tribunals, um, drug test on policemen, anybody that feels threatened by a policeman have someone to call and, and let it be a citizen and nobody that can be bought off. If, if you notice that person's getting a nicer house or something, know they're being bought off. Um, we, we can be moral about this and start taking back our country. If we set a precedence, um, we could take this back, honestly. And that would mean not the highest lobbyist paid um, selected corporate member would be put on a presidential staff eventually. If we started taking back locally, it would mean that common folks could actually run for president because you need to get the money out of it, seriously. And that would mean everybody's participation because I know to bring this country down and get it back to where people say they like it or where it used to be, you're going to have to take it way down. And I think that would be the first step into breaking up into smaller states and having smaller state nations and, and you know, cooperate. United States does not work. It simply does not work. And... Um, I'm willing to go out there and put my name out there, my phone number. I hope you guys will do something, too. Just, we've got to stop this, this militarization of the police. And I am going to look up, since Homeland Security did give them the military gear, I'm going to see if Elbit Systems training our police. If so, I'll be done. I will have a lot to say to Derek Kilmer. And I'll record that. Peace, guys.